Chick curly toes, also known as curl toe paralysis. If you are incubating your own eggs to hatch chickens, you will likely run into this sooner or later. It can be caused before they hatch in the shell while moving, or it can be caused by a riboflavin vitamin B2 deficiency in chick feed. It's not permanent and can usually be fixed by adding a boot to the foot, supplementing with vitamin B2, or ch changing chick feed to a different brand. Okay, folks, I happen to notice uh, you're all right. Kind of move this out where you can see me and this little baby chick. Little baby chick, about uh, two weeks old, has a condition known as curly toes. Let's see if I can hold it where you can see what I'm talking about. Once you look at his feet, see how the foot over here looks deformed, how it's kind of like all squiggly looking. That's known as curly toes, and it's not anything to be too concerned about. It can be fixed, and I'm getting ready to show you how to do it. So normally this takes two people, but I'm just out here by myself. And you'll have to excuse the mess because this kind of happened fairly quickly. I realized she had it. I grabbed her while I had the opportunity, and now I'm going to fix it. All right, so you need something that's sticky. You can use duct tape. You can use Band-Aids. I just so happen to have um, moleskin because it's sticky on one side and soft on the other. And it's just what I had available. You know, coronavirus lockdown, I don't have... I got some duct tape. Duct tape's going to be a little on the extreme side um, because you want it to be able to wear off over time. But as soon as I can, hopefully one-handed, get this backing off of this, I'm getting ready to show you how to fix curly toes in a baby chick. It is something that can be fixed. It's not very hard to do. And you should know how to do it because if you hatch your own chickens, it's something that can happen quite often. So now I've got sticky side up on this piece of tape. So what I need to do is I need to take this chicken and its little deformed foot there and the best that I can try to keep it calm so that I can straighten this foot out. So I'm going to take and straighten out his foot the best I can. It ain't got to be perfect. And then I'm going to stick it down to straighten its toes on this sticky tape. <laughs> like I said, it don't have to be perfect. We just need to get it close. You can kind of think of it like we are putting a little healing boot on it. Just like that. All right, so now that I've got that on there, I want to flip the bird upside down and see how well I did, which I didn't do very well because it's trying to move around. But I'm going to straighten its toes back out again. And once I get them where I want them, then we're going to be done with this minor operation. You know, of course, the bird is scared to death. Doesn't know what's going on. Hold on. So you want basically two levels of tape to hold its toes kind of spread out in about a natural position. 
and then the chicken is going to have to learn how to walk again. Am I going to have to do the other side too? The other side actually looks fine. There's one that's maybe a little, little weird. But once you have that done, see, I've just kind of made it into like a little spread. It's one's going that way, one's going straight, one's going that way. Once I have that done, you're going to leave that on there for about two weeks. And when you take it off, it's going to be fully healed and back to normal. So that's how you fix and how you solve chicken curly toes.